paper. Uh, this is everything but Incineroar's favorite. Uh, but I have stated this before and like said this many times. I feel like Incineroar is absolutely one of those hidden boss characters that has some sort of unprepared for uh, neutral that you're just like not ready for. Oh no, completely. You know, you know what I feel like? I feel like Incineroar is one of those characters where all of the leftover Smash 4 jank just got thrown into one character. <laughs> thrown and compressed into one character. And they're like, you know what? If we're going to have one scapegoat, we're going to make an Incineroar and then he's just going to have to be the sacrifice. We'll make him kind of bad because of his poor movement and abilities, but you know what? You can still maybe lose Incineroar no matter who you are. Yeah, definitely. Especially with that uh, Revenge. Revenge is such a scary mechanic. <laughs> Yeah, and against a character like Roy, like that, the, the multiplier can definitely come back to haunt you there. But right now, Cyro in a pretty good place. As we mentioned, Revenge, he tries to pull it out. Not quite going to be able to find it, but he's not going to get that edge guard either. Yeah, and also, uh, and Cinema is one of those characters that's always regarded as having like, one of the more uh, unfavorable recoveries in the game. But when you see someone who mains Incineroar, like it looks like there is no, there, there is no disadvantage in recovery. Uh, they're very good at uh, using that. Yeah, I, I feel like because uh, th those characters have such poor recoveries, you have to be able to be good at mixing it up with what limited options you have. Yeah, absolutely. So that's just a, a factor of being a player of one of these characters. And Cinnamor lives for a very long time. This is one of the unfortunate things about Roy. If you cannot find the stock in one of your setups, you may be getting a lot of pips instead of um, tilts on the sword. And of course, the edge guard's going to close it out. But Cyro said, you know what? I'll take that back, and we're going to make this a two-stock game here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can see on the ledge that uh, Incineroar is going for a lot of those down tilts to, to back here to throw up the stock. Uh, his back here can close the stocks really early, and it's it's quite it's quite terrifying. Mm -hmm. I mean, any any of the Incineroar's moves can close up the stock really early. Let's be real here. Trying to find that back air, not quite gonna be able to find it. All right, forward air, not gonna find a tech chase, but a back air keeps himself in control of the match and is not ready for the third hit of that neutral beat. There are a lot of hits to that. Okay, what's the setup gonna be? Keeps the jump, not gonna get spiked. Oh, the revenge comes in, and to the dash attack, just immediately cashes out. Gonna get a lot of damage from that as well. That was a little weird, I think he was trying to check roll. Whoa, I looked away, what happened? <laughs> yeah, he was just at the... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Just give, just give him in the gun. Yeah, sorry it was a little bit uh, too patient there. Uh, dropped what actually could have been the stock, and then he got reversed and uh, kind of just got tilted. Ooh, another big punish. Did not get the tech chase, got the down smash, had the right read and everything, but just couldn't find it. He's gonna go to down throw. Oh, and he gets oh the grab, and God. is that gonna be it? No, not quite yet, yeah. He's got, he's got the uh, good DI. Oh, very smart. Okay, uh, air dodging like that. Oh, the neutral air! That actually yeah. puts him in a really bad spot. Didn't even have a chance to tech on the stage. TPH taking game one after what looked like a very strong start from Cyro. And this is what we're talking about. You could lose to Incineroar at any time. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a hidden boss. I mean, and Cyro's a fantastic Roy player as well. Uh, one of the things that I incredibly dislike about Incineroar uh, is that side special. You cannot spot dodge it, and you cannot shield it. Um, and you, you saw uh, he tried using his uh, invincibility frames, uh, getting up on ledge, but it lingers for so long. As soon as your active hitbox frame uh, is available, it'll just pick you up. Yeah, and, and it's just bad to be in a tech chase situation against this kind of character in any moment. Let's see if he gets back from the stage, already yeah. hacking on 70%, but Very you know good what? patience. Yeah, but you know what we talked about? Uh, oh, whoa, <laughs> he, he was in the lead and well. then he lost that first game, so let's see. Oh, Revenge. Where is he going to catch it out? If you do get grabbed, then you will lose it. And oh, if you lose, you stop that. Such a working. good option. Yeah, stopping his momentum and just throwing out that FTO. Alrighty. Okay, out of so Armored Blazer. Mm -hmm. Man, it is just so... Uh, I just kind of mesmerizing just seeing the way that Cyro moves Roy right in the air. He's so good at like shifting those uh, Earth momentum with the... With the double edge there? Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah with, uh, with the beer reverses and wave lines, everything uh, in his arsenal, it does make it very difficult to try and see what the Roy is going to do to you once you get in the air. There's the back air, though. Let's see if uh, TBH can try to close out this stock. He lost it pretty early, all things considered. Ooh. Oh, look at that high <laughs> middle move. Yeah, but neither of them is able to get the punish up from either one. Let's see. 
Try to go for a ledge jump, I think. Not quite able to find it. Oh, yeah, very good. Um, Sahara has just been so incredibly patient. What's the benefit of him right now? Oh, fantastic spike yep. on that recovery. Third time, Charm, he's finally able to find uh, that edge guard to take out that stock. Now he's got a three stock to one lead. The armor's going to go through. And oh he's going to close God. it up. Yeah, at 116. Pretty crazy stuff. All right, let's see. All right, sorry, it's up one stock. No, yeah, all he really has to do is just like kind of go in all the way like that. Doesn't attack, yeah, doesn't have a jump, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, that's game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're up a stock like that against the Tenerar, you just do your best to carry them all the way off stage, and there's not really much they can do. Yeah, very great from Cyro to capitalize off of that, too. He, as soon as he didn't tech, he knew he had like one of three, maybe three options left before he could come back, and that pretty much closed it out. Very great stuff. DBH and Cyro going 1 1. Yeah, this isn't losers, remember, so whoever loses this set is out of the tournament. So. Yeah, and you can hear the crowd on the other side popping off for the uh, Quest versus Cosmos right now. Three. But alright, here we are going into game three. Uh, alright, Smashville. It's got, it's got a smaller amount of uh, stage to work with, so let's see how yeah, these players fare on here. Absolutely, and both of these contenders now are on their uh, final, final game. Loser will be uh, taken out. Okay, revenge. Ooh! That down tilt actually picked him up. He got a lot of damage out of that. Tried to go for the spike, give him some revenge back. Oh. Not able to, and picks him up, gets it in. That jab to F smash, though, is so meaty that Krom and Roy have. Yeah, that was an absolutely crazy amount of damage. But here we go. Oh, going in with the chain again. What's the call out going to be? Yes, goes in for the side B and closes out the stock. TBH keeping this close here, two stock apiece. Yeah, and Tenor can just, he can just do that to you. Doesn't matter what you want to do, he can just throw that out whenever he wants. Okay, up tilt, neither of them. Oh, revenge comes in. Let's see what he's going to do to tack on that damage. I think that was a back air. Gets a decent amount in. Oh, but unfortunate. The Directional air dodge all the way in. Cyro just patiently waiting. Closes it out with an S smash. This is looking like his game to take here. Yeah, absolutely. We're seeing a completely different uh, change of pace from uh, uh, Cyro. Actually, he's going all out right now. He was playing so much more patient. Now he's throwing up very aggressive options. Uh, he knows that this, you know, his kind of last chance right now. Ooh, reads uh, the tech. Calls out a double jump, but the revenge comes in. It will tack on some damage here. Yeah, good patience. That back air though is gonna send him off stage. We see a spike. No. TVH was a little preemptive on that. Uh, he's trying to find that board though. He's trying to get something to try and close out this stock. Yeah, but well, Cyro's not giving it to him. Yeah, one of the things I want to start. Okay, there it is right there. One of the things I was gonna say that I wanted to start seeing was I wanted to start seeing Cyro start poking at TVH with that down tail to set up for that jab to back air. He's at the exact percent for it, but he hasn't really been using down tail at all. Okay, he's got himself pressure at the ledge. There Neutral B comes in. Tech he's, roll. He's looking for it now. Oh, oh air dodging to the back to the center of that platform. I thought that was the call. But we are still in an offstage situation. What's the call going to be? Goes for the neutral air. Still not quite enough to take it, but he's in a bad spot. How does he get back from the stage here? He rolls in. And he's back in neutral, everybody. Tries to pull out the random revenge. Very risky for the type of percent that he's at right now. But you know what? You got to pull out all the cards here on this last potential game for either player. He oh. tries to pull it out again. Cyro not falling for it this time. Gets a death attack on the platform. And he's moving on in the bracket, everybody. What a match, everybody. That was something.